So you're in need of a better way to farm tar in Valheim, huh? Well, you have came to the right place because today I am going to show you how to farm tar by using iTier to kill the growths automatically. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe and smash that like while you're at it. Both are greatly appreciated. And with that said, let's begin this, shall we? So if you don't know already, iTier can damage tamed animals, you, structures that aren't made of iron or black marble. So with that knowledge at hand, we are ready to exploit it. So first, I'm just going to head to the plane straight to a tar pit and we're just going to go ahead and evict the tenants that are living here and we're going to fill this bad boy in with dirt now that we have cleared and developed the land we are ready to go ahead and set up shop and find these spawn points since i'm using creative mode i can just go ahead and skip some time to hit 10,000, and we're going to get to see where these growth spawn now if you were doing this without dev commands you obviously would have to leave the area wait two in-game days or one day for the growth to spawn come back kind of eyeball where where they were at and throw some posts down there but since i'm flying around and skipping time like god i can just slap these bad boys down right where they are and get it a little easier this way and there we have it our gross on our little pedestals but since these are rascally little rabbits we're gonna have to cage them in with some black marble so to keep in mind our spacing we're gonna go ahead and slap down some two meter boards now you could do these by in one meter cages it's not necessary to do two meter, but I feel like if we give the gross a little bit of room to move around inside these pins, it makes it easier for the I tier to hit them and kill them. So next, after we have our spacing boards down, we're gonna put down some black marble just to give us a nice little rim. Now this is the actual tightest that you could build these pins. And I did it two different ways at first to test this out. Now this is the two by two pin, the smallest amount of room that you can put a growth in, but it turned out that the larger pins make it easier to kill the growth. But once you have your outline down, you're good to go ahead and just raise this up four. And I went ahead and just offset them to give us that nice little brick pattern because why the hell not? It looks good and it only takes a few seconds to put in the extra effort to have the offset pattern. Nothing crazy. And then now we are good to go ahead and just iron cage right across our walls so that we can set a black marble roof on it now re just remember that it is necessary to build all of this out of black marble otherwise the sparks and whatnot that shoot off of the i tier will destroy whatever you build and then we're good to just go ahead and ditto everything else over here onto this side and as you can see i just went ahead and expanded that wall over there one more meter because i had already done my testing and realized that the small the smaller pins is less efficient which i did only do a small test i only tested it on, on two different growths so who knows you might have better results than me let me know if you do down below so next i'm just going to go ahead and run some plinths across the top this is unnecessary of course this is more cosmetic just to make it pretty you know what i mean but now that i'm done with all the extra cosmetics we're good to go ahead and slap down some of this verger metal right here to kind of make our growth blockade there we go looking good and the reason we don't fill it all the way over is just so we can have a nice little slot to throw these in i guess technically it wouldn't do no harm to put up some metal on the sides if you clipped it over but you just have to have some room to be able to spread these out evenly across the pin that way you have more of a chance for it to shoot at the growth if you stack them all in one spot then all these sparks would be shooting off in the same direction but now that we have them all spread out evenly as you can see they're already shooting all over the place we can go ahead and skip some time and get our growths in here there we go there they are hello my friends my test dummies now remember that the i tier hits with poison and lightning so the gross are sitting here getting poisoned and they don't take any damage whatsoever so you have to wait for them to take some lightning damage which it varies how long it takes to kill them sometimes they spawn and they instantly start getting electrocuted other times it takes them you know 30 45 seconds for them to start getting electrocuted but once they do they die pretty fast because uh apparently they have a weakness to electricity now if you don't have a lot of i tier to spare and you're worried about them worried about the i tier despawning when you leave you're gonna have to come around the back and place a workbench and this will keep your items from despawning but at the same time this will also block the spawns of the grows themselves so after you waited two days you'll just have to come back knock the workbench out of the way and then you can just come around the front and give it about five six seconds and your gross will spawn in and there they are boom and like you see it right there they instantly started getting electrocuted as soon as they spawned in 
So now you no longer have to fight these hard-hitting, projectile-spitting blobs to get the necessary tar you need to build awesome black shingle roofs. But hey, if you guys got something from this video, don't forget to like, comment, do all that good stuff. It really helps me out, and it's much appreciated. And with that said, I'll catch you folks in the next one.